All right, today we're not going to be doing a GCEP tutorial, but you can still add GCEP to this website if you want. So if you're wondering, or if you have purchased Elementor hosting, and if you're wondering if you can add an e-commerce store to it, well, wonder no more because that's what we're going to be doing today and it is possible. So let's get started. All right, so these are our plans. As you see, as you can see, I am on Elementor's hosting landing page and these are our options, okay? I'm going to go with the free trial just for demonstration purposes, but the way you set up the website is exactly the same. So I'm going to start the free trial and I am going to go through all these steps for you so, so you can see how easy it is to work with Elementor hosting. All right, so this is setting up. I will leave it on the screen to see how long it takes or just for you to see how the process is. All right, so it seems like this website is already ready. That is pretty cool. So let's go to manage this website. So this is what I am getting. So I am not going to go to connect a domain, but you can do that. Choose a hosting plan. But for now, we are on the, the free plan. So that is it. So let's go and give it a name. I'm going to leave it on their site, but you can write whatever you want here. So I'm going to save that or let's let's name it something. Ecom website. Of course, it should be something else let's go to edit our home page so this is going to go take us to the elementor editor but i actually don't really want that i am gonna go to my dashboard and let's see what we have here let's dismiss all this okay so as you can see it will it reminds me that in seven days my license will expire so this is the pro elementor pro license all right so assemble homepage let's see what they have created for us again i think there's nothing because there's nothing on the page obviously all right so there's nothing on the page to see we're gonna leave it like, uh, like that i'm gonna close this and let me just do some cleaning up here because i don't like to see all these things so let's go to the page settings hide the title and let's publish that go again to settings go to home and this remove everything so everything we have a clean page now let's go back to our page and we can also rename the page and just call it home and that's it publish all right now that was pretty easy right so let's go back to our dashboard. Let's see what we have there. Let's see what plugins they installed by default. So we have Elementor, as you can see, it's Elementor hosting, yes, and Elementor Pro. And then we have the image optimizer by Elementor and this we don't care about. And also activity log, we don't care about that either. All right, so it seems like we have a site log mode on change like we could also change this setting let's see where it takes us i'm not sure where i can aha uh -huh. okay privacy mode ah okay okay so we need to upgrade if we want other people and google to see this website which is fine all right it's absolutely okay so we are going to be importing an e-commerce template from elementor okay this is going to be super easy that's why i said it's going to take under 10 minutes it's mostly me talking about these things <laughs> so i can guide you a little bit here and there if you need some help while you're setting up your e-commerce website okay all right as i said we're going to be importing a template and you can access these templates the kit library templates from elementor from from templates and by going to kit library so i'm going to click on kit library and as you can see you have a lot of options here for different subjects okay categories uh, but we are going to check this here the online store and as you can see there's plenty to choose from for different occasions <laughs> for different uh, niches that was the word not occasions and i think in this case i think i'm gonna go with the home goods one or this one i think i'm gonna go with this one let's just have a look to see how oh this is very nice 
It is very elegant. And um, yeah, very to the point, I guess. Let's go back to the library and let's check out this one. And this one is also very nice. It's quite similar, I guess. It does have that elegance as well. You know what? I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm just going to apply the kit. Let's just one second. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Absolutely gorgeous. I like how they played a little bit with the logo here. Yeah, and this works. All right, so I'm going to apply this kit and apply all. OK, and now it's setting up the kit. It's going to take a little bit of time because it needs to be install ac and activate plugins like uh, WooCommerce and so on and the global styles and images and everything. So this is the easy part. Like you don't have to worry about anything. You just have to add your content to this kit and you are ready to go. So I'll come back once it's done. All right, so the install is ready. It took a little bit of time, I think about two, three minutes, but maybe it's just my internet connection, who knows? But as you can see, this is what's included in our kit. Yeah, they added the WooCommerce plugin. Of course, that makes sense. We have some content here. We have 12 navigation menu items, 36 products, 11 pages, which is awesome and size settings and everything else and all the pages that we need. So, okay, let's go get to work now. So let's have another look. Let's see the site. So this is the site. It looks exactly how the kit looked, right? Because we have everything added. Everything has been added to our library. If you go to the media library, you can see here all the images, pages. Look how many pages we have. So we have the home page here, more options and so on and this is amazing now you can duplicate pages from elementor by default which i love <laughs> i don't have to install another plugin for that so we have the uh, woocommerce plugin let's see what else they have added so we have woocommerce that's it all right so i would assume that you would like to change some things in your uh, store so let's say that you don't want the single page, single product page to look the same. So let's go to our uh, home page and let's just click on a product. So let's see how this would look. So this is how it looks. OK, it's very simplistic and very minimalistic, but maybe you want to add more information, more, more of everything. All right. So let's go to templates, go to theme builder. And this is where you will find the product archive, the single product page or template. Basically, it's a template. And all these are basically templates. So this is where you would change them, okay? Including the footer, header, and so on. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to edit, okay? So maybe you don't want this button to be this big, okay? So let's just go to buttons and let's see uh, typography, okay? That's okay it's fine but okay first of all i would not leave it as a pixel i would change it to rem yeah so let's say maybe this i think it looks a bit better right and publish and maybe i want this the heading to have a different color so i'm going to go to let's see what do we have here and maybe even create a new color i don't know something like that so i'm gonna say yeah let's just make it green and something like this green i'm just playing around with things all right so green let's call it let's save it as a, a global color uh green ooh, green heading okay you can name it whatever just this is i'm just doing this sort of in real time so you can see how easy it is okay it's easy to me but it's it would be easy for you as well i'm gonna publish this and that's it i think i think you get the point of this okay so 
let's go back to our store and now i want to change the logo because as you remember there's no logo here so we could do that okay in case you don't know how to do it you do it like this so go to appearance on your dashboard go to customize and you will be directed here okay so go to site identity and select logo so i am going to select a file and normally you should add an svg this is the, the way you should do it with logos but because i don't have svg enabled here i am going to be adding a png but keep in mind that best back practice is to add svg uh, logos not pngs okay so i'm gonna select this um not sure like this Maybe like something like crop it to this size, crop. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Uh, maybe, maybe a little less cropping. Anyway, so this is how it looks. Let's have another look. Let's open the website and yeah, it's too small. It needs to be adjusted there. So what we can do is go again to templates, go to theme builder. And we can go to our heading and adjust this from there. So edit. And if I click on this, on the site logo, I can change the height so, to something like this. Yeah. You can tell what that is, right? So let's see. I think it looks okay. I mean, it's not the best logo ever, but <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> All right. And for sure, I would not recommend you change, for example, the headings on the, only one page or basically what I wanted to say is if you want to have the heading the H1, the same size across the website, you would change it in the page settings. So let's go to home, edit with Elementor, and I will show you what in what i mean uh to the site settings sorry that was it site settings so you would go to global fonts or global colors if you want to change the color as well globally so global fonts okay so we have the primary the primary being the h1 maybe you think that it is too big of course change it from pixels to rem and well, this is a bit too big too big still too big still too big too big too big i think this looks good right so the h1 now will have the same size across the board across the website which makes sense so that's what you do with all the fonts that are already set in the template and you don't have to worry well, to change it all over the place and have issues with the website being not cohesive, you know, because you have different sizes of the same heading everywhere. All right. So now we're back in Elementor in the back end where you can access your website from. And if you want to add or connect a domain, you would go here and you get the option to connect a custom domain that you already have or buy a domain. And whichever step you choose, will take you through different screens to do so okay and another thing we can do just like for fun because we have not optimized anything so everything the, the way it is right now uh, is tested for speed of course we can optimize and we should but let's see out of the box how it performs so this is the link to the website that we have created and we're going to test it not from the North America. I'm going to test it from Germany, Frankfurt. OK, so let's see how this performs without any caching, anything optimized in any way. OK, so let's see. OK. I think this is pretty good considering everything that I just said. Of course, everything can be, as I said, super optimized but we have a good starting point and I think it's pretty good. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.